Musen Audio. I'm not sure if you heard about them, but they're a company that manufactures Bluetooth speakers. And they reached out to me and asked me to review their latest Bluetooth portable speaker called the Cybershell. As soon as they sent their Indiegogo link over to me, I put that link in the description down below. I was like, yes, please send me one immediately. And so with that being said, here is the Cybershell portable audio speaker from Musen Audio. But this speaker has a true wireless stereo function and in order to test that out, I had to get another one. So Musen Audio was kind enough to send me over, yes, a second one to test that feature out for you guys right here on this channel. So stick around, let's talk about this for a second. I wanna see some love, it's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV. We don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, so before I talk about this speaker and everything that it can do and how it sounds and all the great things about this speaker, I wanted you to see their Indiegogo site right here. So as you can see, as I'm filming this video, and I hope to get this published today as well, and today is today is October 9th, so hopefully I will get this published on the same day as well, so that there will still be three days left when you watch this video. But, and as you can see right here at the bottom, um, just one speaker right here by itself will go for $159, and that's 36% off. I'm not sure about the retail price, if it's gonna actually be around $249 when they release it, but if you catch this in the next couple of days, you will be able to pick this up for $159. Also, there's another option right here, where it comes with the docking station. And this is the one that I wish they would have sent to me, but I'm not sure this is like their pre-production packaging. The docking station is just there so you don't have to plug the USB type C cord in the back of it, which I'll show you in a little bit. You can just set it right down in the docking station and it will charge your speaker up. If it was up to me, I would have gotten that option right there. That's $175. And then they have other early bird specials and donations right there. Quickly going around this box, on the front side, as you can see, you got your RGB lights right here and there's multiple modes, which I'll get into. You have your true wireless stereo option, extra bass, IPX5, low latency, Bluetooth 5.0, and you do get an aux cable. There really isn't much on the backside to talk about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up so you can see exactly how this looks. So love the packaging. And as you take this foam off, as soon as you open it up, here is the speaker right on top, people. And to be completely honest with you, I thought this speaker was a lot smaller than what it actually is. This speaker is a beast. Now, if I hold it up, this is my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Hold it up to this for a quick size comparison. As you can see, it's taller than this. It's wider than this. Obviously, it's th it's thicker than this. So you also get a USB Type A to USB Type C charging cable. USB Type C to a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack cable. Speaker cover. Product manual right here. And that's it, people. That is all the contents that you get inside the box. It's really not that much to it. So let me go ahead and put all this stuff away, unpack this other speaker, and let's talk about this. Okay, so in here they go right here. Um, I did charge them up for a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and attach these guards on the back side right here they just clip on just like that so this is your subwoofer on the back side and to protect that from being damaged they provide this grill right here so going around this speaker right here this is your front part right here you got your sub on the back side with the protection guard on the top side this is where you can toggle the eq right here so there's three different modes like i said before there's normal rap and rock mode so this is your mode switch right here you have bluetooth you have ll you also have your truly wireless option right here and then you also have your aux option. I'm gonna put that on Bluetooth so I can connect these to my mobile device. You have your power button up top. You have your play and pause button right here. You have your track forward and your track back toggle switch right here. And pushing this in this way will change the different RGB lighting on the front side. On the bottom side right here, I think the I believe these are your magnetic points. So with that docking station, you can just set it right in the docking station and it will automatically start charging. You have a USB type C port on the back side right here. Turn this knob right here. This will turn your volume up and down. On the right side of the speaker, as you can see, it says Cybershell XOG presents. And then the left side of the speaker says cross the border of the cosmos. I mean, solid metal. I mean, I believe this is aluminum. 
very, very strongly built. These things have some weight to them. I really like how they look, very futuristic look. Then if I power them on, there's your RGB lighting. You get that sound effects. If I power it off, you get another sound effect. And so as you can see, you have different RGB lighting options on the front side. So if I click in on this toggle switch right here, it'll switch. So this is like, um, this will go through all the different colors at the same time. And you get another RGB setting right here. This goes through the lights as well. And then you could just turn it off. Okay, so one thing that I did forget to mention when I was talking about these is that the battery life on here is up to 13 hours. And obviously that just depends on how loud you play the volume on here and for how long. So yeah, battery life up to 13 hours, Chetch. That is everything about this speaker. So let me go ahead and pair these to my mobile device so that you can actually hear how these sound and test out the truly wireless feature. I really think that these things are going to be um, pretty dope. Okay, so normally I would not go through this. Um, it's a Bluetooth speaker, but since it's two different speakers that have the true wireless stereo feature in here, I'm going to run through that to show you exactly how they work. So after you have them turned on, you want to turn this knob to the Bluetooth settings. As you can see right here, Muse and Cybershell will pop up in your Bluetooth menu. You click on both of those. One will connect. Let me see. And the other one's connected. Okay, so now that they are both connected, if I played some music. It only plays on this one. That's because the true wireless stereo option is not clicked. So what you want to do is turn this knob to the true wireless stereo, and then also turn this to the true wireless stereo. You'll get this prompt. China, right? China. So this is the right side, and this is the left side. So let me go move that to my, no, let me keep it like this because it's your right and your left. Okay, so now as you can see on the menu right here, they disconnected. I don't know exactly which one to click on, to make it truly wireless so i just have to test it out so i'm going to click on the second one and if it's successful you'll get a successful prompt okay as you can see it says connection unsuccessful so i'm going to click on the first one and see if that one works and there you go it says connected you got a sound from i believe it was the left one or the right one anyways you got a sound from that it's connected and if i go back and if i hit play you get sound out of both of these. Okay, so I got some music queued up on Epidemic Sound. And Epidemic Sound, if you watch this, I don't know why, but if someone that knows someone that works at Epi Epidemic Sound, if you guys get a hold of this, or if you guys get wind of this, create an app for your website. So I'm logging to my account through Google so that I can just quickly go into my app and just play music. Strictly for situations like this, it is 100% completely selfish ask of me, but it's an ass nonetheless. That's one speaker. I mean, just by itself, this one knocks. And when I turn both of these on, Okay, and so that was with both of them. Since these do have true wireless stereo options, I need to test that out to make sure that it's actually official tissue. And shout out to Master Study um, using their video. I hope I don't get a copyright infringement on this. So I'll put their link in the description down below as well. I wanna quickly run their YouTube test right here to test out left and right channel. And you can actually hear it switching back and forth. You're not gonna pick this up just from my microphone through your speakers, but I'm here to let you know that if you are looking to pick these up because of the true wireless stereo mode, just by looking off of this test right here, it's going back and forth. As you see the right one, the left one pop up, these different speakers are reacting that way. And with that being said, the true wireless stereo feature definitely works. So it's not something that they just slapped on here so for it to sound good. It actually works like that when you have it hooked up to your phone correctly. Super impressed. I don't know if I'm want to pay $160 for 
this speaker i mean it is a very nice speaker but there are some other ones in my opinion that are out there that sound just as good i mean i know you're getting a lot of this for the aesthetics and if this is something that you're looking for to match your desk setup then by all means definitely definitely pick these up they sound great sorry i couldn't test out the wireless charging function for you but if you are in the market to pick that up right now on indiegogo that's going for 175 dollars for one plus that only issues i have might be with the price point I would like to see these more like around 120 maybe $130 $150 max with the docking station but that's just my opinion and then also if you do get both of these going inside the Bluetooth settings and switch back and forth between just using one or using both of these in the true wireless stereo option it kind of takes a little bit longer for it to switch back over and when you pair both of these up to your mobile device it doesn't tell you which one is the right channel which one is the left channel which one to tap on for it to actually have the true wireless stereo option get connected that might be just a little nitpicky for me but hey that's how i feel maybe that could be fixed with the software push and yeah that's all i got for you people that is my full review on musen audio's cyber shell portable bluetooth wireless speaker as always if you found any value in this video whatsoever go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below or if this is your first time here and you like what you've seen smash that subscribe button as well and don't forget hit that bell icon so you get notification when i drop my next tech video as always Thanks for stopping by the Tech Lib channel. My name is Nicholas, and I'm out. Peace.